I am Dakar. Greetings. Welcome, Dakar. Thank you for coming. It is good to be with you today. There is much good news to report. First of all, I would like to say thank you for all those that are concerned about uh, the governments and how we interact. We have gotten many messages from you on how we feel or you feel that we should proceed and some of those advices have been taken because we realize that you do have some good ideas and make sense with your your speaking to us. I believe some of you have even come with us to the conferences occasionally and therefore we thank you for this uh, this encouragement and this support as well. Thank you very much. And now I would like to tell you that the holographic has been approved and the rules and regulations have all been approved. That therefore we will start to bring people in I will explain it exactly how it is. We will bring you in the astral and then add the holographic to you when you arrive at the colonies. Your governments do not wish anyone to see the holographic forms on Earth. So therefore we cannot do sight to sight in actuality for holographic. But we can bring you spiritually and then put the holographic on to you which is adding the light to the astral. Therefore, it is a little more difficult that way. However, we are willing to do that as long as you are able and your governments are willing to do this. So we will do it that way. Also, the last rule and regulation to be accepted was that, that the one that we are allowed to bring you to the colonies, but they did not want us to be able to let you go anywhere else other than the colonies or back to Earth. But we, we struggled with this because there are places in some planets that you need, some of you need to go for information. And so therefore we got it approved that when you come to the colonies, you are also allowed to go to other planets as well if it is necessary for your education. And they have approved this, but they, it was a dubious approvement. So they, they were not real happy about it, but in order for this to happen, they had to approve it. We told them that they, they did not have much control of what happens to you when you come here anyway, because they do not have any control here. And if you allow them to come in the astral form, you've been allowing that for a long period of time and no there has been no problems why would it be a problem for you to let us uh, add the holographic and send you off to other planets where you can do learning we will only be giving you safe havens to go to because there will be people there that you will need to talk to and places that we would like you to see so that you are familiar with some of the sites before first contact so this has been approved by the 20th of this month, we should bring the first group astrally and changing them from astral to holographic. So that is a great success for humankind as well as our, our associations here. So thank you for all your prayers and all your support and all your words of kindness and uh, advice on how to approach this. With all this to coming together, we were able to get this worked out with your government. And thank you very much. I am sure many of you are very excited about the very thought of coming in a holographic form. And this is an exciting thought for us as well. We would like you to know that we believe that this will give you a greater insight on what is happening here. You will be able to remember more. You will be able to bring more back, more information back to your planet to be utilized in a great and useful way. Thank you. Thank you Is very there any much. questions about this at this time? Yeah, thank you very much. Uh, it is exciting by itself, just the craving to communicate with you, to be in a new world, to see it and remember it. That's that's by itself is exciting, and also, it is a service to the contact and to the ascension. We we want to help the the humanity to ascend and ascend in the most friendly way.
Uh, we invite questions from the audience right here live, from the chat on the right, and also from uh, Google Plus page where the event is announced. So please line up and Sabrina will read the questions, the one which you typed. My first question would be, uh, is it only the people from human colony who are going up or other people from um, government and military who are joining and going holographically to your colonies? That is a very good question. Mostly just those from human colony. If someone from the military or someone from the governments want to come, they cannot bring weapons or any form of negative devices. They will be able to visit and see what happens as well as anyone else. We would not deprive them of this opportunity. So if they would like to come, we would bring them as well. However, in the astral, of course, weapons would not be available. Sight to sight, they would be. However, we do not want any negative beings to come onto the ship. I would encourage people from the government, especially the collectively elected, to visit the colonies and to to learn the colonies and the contact to do the contact themselves. That would be very educational. That will move the contact much closer. The open contact that will move move much closer. So I would encourage them to follow up. And how would they apply? Do they have the the way to apply? We have. Any meetings with the governments every few months sometimes more often if they have a list of those that want to come we will accept it and and we will also brief them that when they arrive there will be an interview to let them know what to ex they will be experiencing and we will listen to their comments making sure that no one has any negative agenda there is a way for us to determine this other than what they understand that we can do. So if they come with a negative agenda, we will send them back. Wonderful. Uh, if any elected official from anywhere around doesn't know where to apply in the government, they can go to our website and apply through our website, or they can just send in the mail, sign up to go at gmail.com and say that they want to join. and. Uh, we encourage them to apply. There is a lot of elected officials and uh, all around the globe, and we would uh, encourage them to apply. They can also apply anonymously without saying their name, so the humans wouldn't be able to trace them easily, but uh, Takur and friends would, would be able to, to take the application and, and invite them up there. So, Sabrina, Correct. do you have people lined up in the chat? So, people in the room, please line up in the chat and go ahead with your questions. Kralak is first. Uh, yes. Hello to Kerr. Greetings, Kralak. You go by many names, so I, I will just speak the name that is here. Yes. Um, about the holograph, I have two questions. About the holographic projections, I wanted to ask yes. if I'll be able to go to the Levisai world. You will be able to go to other worlds from the colonies. But you must arrive at the colonies and go through the interview system first. Then, if you request to move to other planets or other colonies, then that request will be taken into consideration and things will be moved along for you. Remember that we are still organizing the holographic projections. We do not know how they are going to work out at first. So we will be uh, watching the first several holographic progressions and see projections to see how things are progressing and then move forward with, with our greater plan for learning and teaching after that. Yes, you will be able to go to other places. However, we would prefer that the first few times in holographic form that you would do some teaching, I mean learning from other teachers and not go to the other world immediately because the, that would suggest that you are just using it as a transport and not using it as an educational format. Therefore, we would like you to learn some things and then we will organize with other planets your movement to those places 
we understand why you want to go there and it is perfectly acceptable and therefore but we would we would definitely plan that but right now the first couple times that you come to the colonies we would want it for educational purposes because we want to see how much information is stored and returned to your planet and becomes useful do you understand that yes and my second yes. question is but you will get to meet whoever you need to meet and that is fine we understand the importance of this connection do not worry it will happen yes thank you and my second question is if there is any information that I need to know or questions any aliens want to ask me that I can answer of course that is without without question you will be able to ask and be uh, given answers to your questions also I wanted to bring up something now that I thought of it many people have expressed desire to hug me in the holographic form I will be able you will be able to hug me but I will not be able to hug you back because you are only a beam of light however I can give it an effort but it will go right through you so I just want you to know that you will be able to actually experience a form of hug but it will not be the same as a sight to sight uh, third dimensional hug however many of you express that desire so I will be available to help you with that request continue I heard that holographic projections can, can actually be physical they can uh, have the ability to touch and be touched so I guess there, there are different the, kinds there are different kinds the kind that we have to use because your governments do not want us to take you out of the body and put you in holographic projection immediately because others would see is a different kind of holographic projection than we have to originally use so it was uh, brought into the reality later than the original holographic site to site project but now we are able to add the holographic to the astral form which is enough enough to say that you should be able to experience many of the same things Thank you. There is someone in the room that has a question. Yes. Good morning. Come here. No one can hear you. Oh, yeah, good thing. I have a question for you. First of all, good morning. Thank you for being here. Thank you. The question I have is for this coming Friday, have those people been selected already and how many? Yes. There is a plan. Yes. There is a schedule being made. The 20th will be the first of those, and we will bring up as many as we can do at once, which is about a hundred. So th there are several hundreds of you out there that want to come in astral projection or even just uh, astral to holographic. So therefore, it must be planned well ahead of time so that we can make room for everyone and put them in the proper places where they should be. We have three planners working on this and the first round of people will be those that have been waiting for the holographic the longest. And so it is first come first serve as you would call it but however we call it the we call it those that are most likely to succeed. Yes. Um, Come here to speak. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Hi, my name is Sandy. Um, I know that I am a non-physical being currently, as well as a physical being. Correct. So I've got my spirit. Right. On the non-physical plane, I feel like I can do and be anything I want to be. That is correct. Why is there this control mechanism by the government to say, yes, you can do this, no, you can't? When I'm not, my, my, my because, form can do anything. because humanity hasn't grasped that concept yet. Their belief systems are far behind yours. And therfore, you can go in any way that you want to, and they can't stop you from anything. 
However, the belief system in the human population is that there has to be a means to get there and a ways to return. So therefore, we are just giving the humanity what they want. And we are giving the governments what they want as well. Belief systems are very popular on your planet and they are very limited. Yours seems to be unlimited and therefore do what you wish. And I say thank you very much for your expansion of thought patterns. However, if and um, I would just say that those of you that have trouble with this kind of belief system will go in the holographic form. I do not say that there is no other way to go. I'm just saying this is the way, if you are going with us, that you have to go. You're welcome. Yes. Carolina, yes. if there isn't anyone in the room. Come oh, here so they can hear you. John, I have a question. Do we have to individually register at all, or is it... It's already been done. It's been done. Yes, we see who you are. We know your thoughts, and we know who has been there. And every single person that comes to Yukoro or speaks to in a class of Yukoro people or is or is known to you Colo representatives will be included. And if you just say that you want to go, that is all that is necessary. A formal written approval is accepted and it is a good thing because it lets the governments know how many people are willing to to do this. Without your written permission, uh, telling the, us that you are wanting to go, the governments only see that limitation of people. So if you have not written why you want to go or if you want to go, please do this so the governments know that they are becoming more and more outnumbered as far as belief systems are concerned about coming to the colonies and about believing in what we call, what you call, aliens or off-worlders or different species. It is all appropriate. We know that there is no discontentment when you say the word alien or whatever. And so we are happy to be with you no matter what you call us, as long as it is out of love. I wrote the whole book about me wanting to go. <laughs> Yes. So therefore, it is not politically incorrect to call us anything that you want, as long as it's out of love. So they have been selected. Already, we have scheduled out to the 27th of November, from the 20th. And it continues to work because there are many hundreds of you that want to come. And we are very, very excited about this program. Did okay. that answer your question? Yes. Very well. Thank you. Can I, can I squeeze in with a question? Mm -hmm. So I would ask a question which everybody is asking frequently. Uh, how, do you, how do you prepare for the, uh, for the visit? Uh, would you know in advance if the visit is coming? Uh, how you long would it take the holographic one? Uh, so oh. how would people prepare themselves? Do they have to be happy? Do they have to meditate? Or it really doesn't matter? And what if they are caught in a state where, uh, what if they are caught in a state where they can't really go if there is somebody around or something like that? I, we have taken care of all these problems. We speak to you you know how you go in the astral. We come to your subconscious, and your subconscious gives permission to come. And therefore, we will do the same thing. We will come to you in your subconscious, ask you if you want to come astrally um, or holographically. That will tell us something. Also, if we come to you and we discover that there is much going on in your life, much uh, trouble or lack of sleep or something uh, problems that are occurring we will reschedule for another time because we do not want to take you during a period of time where you are not ready so would it be advisable for people to be in a good state of health and mood at, 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 uh, around these times or it would be the most life? preferable 
that is the most preferable. There so are if you're in depression, no get out of depression, right? If there is someone in depression, we will speak to the subconscious and see what their and the higher self and see what the thought process is there for them coming to their colonies. Because depression is a little different. Sometimes when people are taken in a state of depression and they come to the colonies, the depression is alleviated. Now it depends on how deep that depression is. If it's a very deep depression, we would not take you. We would do an an infusion to help you with your depressed state. However, the subconscious would have to agree to that, or the higher self. How much of the healing would you do in the in the visits? There is no healing that can be done in the holographic. Actually, it is very much that we do the infusions just as we do on Earth. We can add do them the same on the colony, but unless you are there in third dimension, 3D site to site, we cannot really do much healing. It is, we are only working with the spiritual body. The spiritual body is also already intact and whole and does not need any healing because your blueprint is already intact. If you were to lose an arm or a leg or whatever, the blueprint would still have this energy intact and uh, would have the energy going into those places that are were once physical. Therefore, uh, there's not much we can do about that. We cannot change the physical with uh, the spiritual. Do you understand that? Yes, absolutely. Thank you. That's wonderful. Um, please, next question. Okay. Now I have one from Barbara Joy. Yes. Uh, she says, when you bring us up to the colonies in holographic form, what do we look like to you? Your perfect astral, your perfect spiritual being is what you look like. You have no flaws whatsoever on your spirit. So therefore, when you come, you are perfect. So you look wonderful, of course. Okay, so, so we look physical, just not solid. Correct. Okay. And we will clothe you as you come through, because many of, your, many of you come, or all of you, come in the naked form, and that is not acceptable f to you in many cases. So we do provide you with a set of astral clothing so that you may... There is only a few of you that prefer to walk around without any. Okay. Um, okay. Now I have Shin. Um, Shin, hello. How are you? He says I've been. It's been a. Uh, I've been having quite a tough time emotionally for the past week or so, and wondering if this is just a regular physical symptom, or caused by spiritual cause, like a DNA infusion. If it's spiritual. What are things that I can do? And also, how is my DNA infusion going? No, no negativity should be caused by a DNA infusion. It should be all positive. And if somebody is interfering with it, we, we are not aware of that. However, spiritually, because a DNA infusion is not necessarily spiritual. It goes right to the DNA and goes in, and becomes activated with the DNA that you have. So that is not actually spiritual. That becomes, it comes from an, an infusion point and it becomes physical, but they cannot detect it unless they do a DNA scan, which most people do not do on a day-to-day -day basis. So that is not something that they uh, will detect right away. However, spiritually, I would have to check in with you and see what is going on. There might be an attack. It might be the Earth's energies also because once you set yourself in a certain position of emotional uh, an emotional contact the earth energies can make that much stronger or take some of that away as well it depends on how it's interacting with you physically emotionally and spiritually so therefore I would say I would like to uh, just do a scan of you and see what is happening on those levels and uh, we'll have someone do that while we are talking today. And I will um, 
have something for you shortly. Okay. Okay. I will bring in someone else for you now. A Pleiadian is waiting to speak to you. Thank you, Tukum. Much love to you all, and I am hoping that all of you are well. Yeah, thank you, Tukum. It was a pleasure and an honor to speak to you. Thank you. Honor to speak to those who are wonderful from your planet. Yeah, Kawata Shaw.